Hi guys, so my name is Leona and um, I'm actually running my own events management company and we are known as, this is Anagram. I think it was through an event um, that I actually discovered boxing. So back then I was working uh, with another company and we're running a road show, if I'm not wrong, for the Singapore Youth Olympics. And uh, you know, we're just busy setting up and the coach back then just told me, hey, why don't you just try on boxing for fun? Like, come, 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 you know, put on a pair of gloves. And I did a little bit of pad work. I thought, oh, this, this seems fun. You know, maybe I'll just consider taking it up uh, one day. And then uh, it just happened. I have been boxing, well, I started learning boxing since 2011. And uh, I stopped boxing for a couple of years in between and have been boxing competitively again since 2013, 2014. And uh, stumbled into teaching maybe one and a half years ago. My weeks are never typical, so picking something like maybe say a couple of weeks ago, uh, probably you know wake up seven or eight a.m. have breakfast, train, and then rest, uh, deal with work matters, and then train again, and then rest, and then teach, and then deal with work matters. So I think it is challenging in a whole different level on a whole different level. It's tough, to be honest. It's tough to, you know, to be exposed at an international level. These guys train full time. These guys go for like world championships, international fights. You know, when you're standing in, waiting to weigh in, and then these girls have like we all have a red record book, right? And these girls are like flipping every single page, trying to get to the last previous fight. And then I have like my record book at like my first page, which is like not even filled up. It is, it is intimidating, but at the same time, it is, it is very inspiring, you know. To, to know that one day perhaps someone from Singapore, like a girl from Singapore, can achieve that. And uh, I think as an individual, you know, that's, that, that's how far I want to push myself to. If it's one thing I think boxing has, has taught me would be the discipline. Um, you need to have discipline in whatever you do. You may be passionate about something, but it's the determination and discipline that you know, sees you through. So, I think it's the same thing for work. You, you, if you're not, you know, yeah, yeah, I enjoy working. I enjoy, you know, having fun in my work. But at the same time, you need to kind of, you know, when work needs to be done, you need to put in the effort. You need to put in the time to get it done. Uh, you know, perfect your craft. I discovered my passion. I think it's slightly different from everyone. I think I got lucky because I think my passion came after I started teaching. So when I started to get more active, tried to lead a more active lifestyle, I got presented with this opportunity to teach. And I thought like, you know, why not? Because I would like to do something to like challenge myself out of my comfort zone. As cheesy as it sounds, I think like, when it comes to time, um, it's really how we make of it. It's like, because after I committed to this, it became kind of like a responsibility that I, I needed to do. So it's like when I plan my days, it's like I know that, okay, from this hour to this hour, this is something I have to do. So yeah, so basically it's like just shift things around and, and, and make it work. With regards to the passion, I think that it has helped me become my, more vocal in my work environment. I think in like, when you're talking about a PR agency, everyone is very open, always sharing their own opinions and stuff. Um, I think. Initially, when I started out, I was a little bit more soft-spoken and just like taking the more like observant role. But I think that by doing this, it has helped. Me. It has helped me like stepped up to be more vocal and just you know, it has helped me and my colleagues have seen that. So it's been helpful, I would say. I think the first thing they were surprised. They couldn't see how I could be quiet at work and teaching a boxing class at night. So, uh, so a few of them actually came for my first class. So it's nice that they kind of like see the other side of me, um, and and they have been very supportive. And so we have this like weekly roundup in our in our office. So they actually put the picture on it, and then like sort of like tell people in the office who don't know that hey, like I'm teaching boxing. If you haven't tried it out, like like come and try. Personally, I think I hope to inspire like people who are who might not be um, the most who might not be leading like the most active lifestyle just to make boxing and just exercising in general like more accessible to them. So I, this is some things that I hope I'll be able to like do for the people who come to my class.